Hey folks, so now for the office quick hitters. So remember that that five minutes that you take once every two hours, let's say, is the same amount of time that people are taking to go and have a cigarette break or go and have a coffee. So never, never, never feel guilty at work for taking a break from the screen to refocus your intention, in fact, and to do something healthy for your body. So now we're going through the quick hitters. I'm going to be systematically bringing you through the areas of the body that I've heard mentioned from office workers and that they would love to see some, some uh, movement uh, uh, hacks for. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go now, start with the back, okay? So you'll have your bum against the wall, head against the wall. Your heels can also be against the wall uh, or they can be a little bit out. And we're going to do snow angels, okay? Keep your chin nice and straight. And we're going to go three, two, and one. The next one I like to call grabbing the low hanging fruit because your fist starts clenched and then it opens out. And imagine each time as you open out you're releasing any stress and negative energy. Okay, so that's some good ones for your back. Um, next up, what we're gonna go through are some for your wrists. So, for the wrists, okay, it's a little bit, and I'm gonna get in closer to the camera here. So the wrist is kind of a funny one because you want to have your fingers locked around your wrist like this, okay? They're not quite touching. And then you're going to just move your wrist like this. Three, two, one. And then try to go more the opposite way. Three, two, one. And then we're going to fan the face. Oh, that's nice because it's very warm here in Brussels today. Okay, so that's another one for your wrist. Again, that's because a lot of people, right, you see there again, not quite touching, but a lot of people will complain about the fact that when they're using the, the mouse for long periods that their wrist can, can feel like there's a lack of space. And we're just going to twist the other way. Three, two, one, and, oh, that's so good. Three, two, and one. Okay, next up, I'm going to need um, to use just over here, okay? And what it is, is it's an exercise for opening out your shoulder muscles. Okay, so for this next part, folks, you're going to need a table whereby you can put your palm flat down so fingers are facing backwards. So for me, that's over here. You're going to stand in line with it, so your hip is in line with your hand. Okay, you want that hand print that hand down, so in my case it's the right hand, and then I open out my left foot to go a little bit slightly behind and I look over that shoulder, and I allow my chest to push forward. Three, two, one, and now I'm gonna swap to the other side, so with the left hand down, okay, when I say down, it's palm flat, fingers back. Okay, in line with it, and then you step back and you open out. So I think I might hopefully still in shot, and you're allowing your shoulder to open out. Okay, lovely. So just because it's linked to this area of your chest, another thing you can do your chest and shoulders is called a pin and scrub. So you use your fingers just to give it a little massage, as kind of tough or as easy as you like, and you just massage out any tension in those areas. And then switch sides. Okay, and these are really good sort of tension relievers. Your own personal massage. All right. Okay, so I want to finish out with some nice ones for um, 
for people who maybe suffer from tension in the back of their neck and maybe occasionally just with, with a kind of a dull sort of pain or a headache or even migraines in, in their head. And again, what this might do is it might just help with the prevention of that with some self-care. Um, not guaranteed, but it is definitely guaranteed to relieve pressure in that neck area and the, 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 the back of the head as well. So I'm excited to, to show you them. Okay, so to do this, First thing you're going to do is again, it's a rub and scrub. So you're going to rub the back of your head with your fingertips. Link the fingers, elbows back, and hold. And then raise it up, elbows back, and hold. And then just shake it out and tilt the head. And again, massage upper part of your neck, back of the head, and link your fingers, elbows back. Squeeze your chest forward. Come up a little bit, shake it out, and look from right to left. And then last one, we're just going curling in. And open out a little bit. Okay, I'll do this side on so you can see. I, I exaggerate. And each time you come a little bit further. Down. And last one. And then you can shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Good job. Okay, you don't need to do the little dance in the office. Um, mightn't do your, uh, your promotion prospects any good. Hopefully you've enjoyed them and taken some good tips.